at Springfield, Illinois. He race number two is at the line, and this event is living up to its billing thus far. A photo finish in heat race number one, the kind of stuff we expect at Springfield. Heat number two is underway. The launch and the charge to turn number one. Check this out. Into the lead goes Steve Moorhead on the inside of the racetrack. His challenger, Dave Durrell, on the outside. Here comes Ronnie Jones way up on the top, and the old gun the old master, Jay Springsteen, number nine, right there in the middle of that battle up front. Look at the wobble down the backstretch for Dave Durrell. What causes that, Bill? Durrell's machine seems like it's set up a little bit too quick, or he doesn't have the steering damper tightened up enough, and he's got a little high-speed wobble problem. Steering damper is a, a, a something that's adjustable. Can he fix that during the race? It's a hydraulic device to, to eliminate just exactly what he's experienced. And he takes the lead, so obviously it's not a great concern for young Dave Durrell, kid from Zimmerman, Minnesota weighs in about 135 pounds, which is a great advantage on a racetrack like this. God, he's a tuner's dream. Just seeing that body on your motorcycle makes everybody mouth water. <laughs> pounds, uh, pounds mean speed, right? The fewer of them you got, the easier it is to go fast. And speaking of going fast, looky here. Jay Springsteen, three-time national champion, the old master at this game, number nine, squirts to the inside and takes the lead. And Graham coming around the outside with Moorhead in tow, a four-man battle. Watch him come off the corners. Try to concentrate on who gets under the paint first. Jay Springsteen will be one of the first guys. He'll get down and get it on quick. I love the language. Under the paint. Tell me exactly what you're talking about. You're trying to make yourself small. You're doing your Dave Durrell imitation. Getting down flat on the gas tank. Out of the wind. That's the key. And Graham knows how to do it. See how they're all laid out flat coming into the corner. Durrell goes into the lead. And then they all sit up at the end of the back stretch. Is that an air brake kind of a thing? Exactly. You're an air brake, a foot brake. You're trying to get slowed up just a little so you can get that inside line, the perfect position around the corner. Love that speed shot. 130 miles an hour. You actually see the camera move. That's the wind blast off these motorcycles, literally shaking the fence, and the motorcycles shake the ground. It's something to be close to. Down the back stretch, Durrell leading Graham. That why they call it the Rolling Thunder Show, Dave? You betcha, buddy. And when, fortunately, here today, we've got thunder all around this place. You may see an occasional flicker in your picture. That is lightning. We have the potential. I hate to even say the words that this race could be rained out today. Graham has taken the lead as they go down the backstretch. The six-time winner here has marched through the traffic and is headed for the front. Now, remember, on the first lap, he was back in fifth or sixth place. He's taken his time. He's working his way to the front, and he's left these three guys to battle for third. And the new man in that trio is number 31, Danny Ingram. Ingram slipping up to the outside, and it looks like it could be a two-man race up front. It looks that way, but I wouldn't count out the other three yet. Uh, the draft is so important here, and I think they'll use it to, to get the leaders back. Can you give me a sense, Bill, of how far back you can be and still pick up the advantage of that slipstream, that, that advantage of the draft? It, that's a real difficult measurement to judge, but I would think it's got to be at least five or six bike lengths. You can feel it. They hunt around in there. There's crosswinds to contend with. The riders can feel it out there. Ingram has obviously been able to get hold of something there as he breaks away a little bit from Springsteen and goes looking for the lead duo. Durrell, for the moment, seems content to just park on Ricky Graham's rear wheel. He's not really challenging Graham. Is that a strategic decision, or is he just going flat out? Well, as, he, as we say it, he moves into the lead. I think he's testing himself and the racetrack, his equipment, everything as it goes along. Durrell likes Springfield. Of course, everybody likes Springfield, but especially Springfield. Durrell really likes this racetrack, and he does well here. He shot to the inside on Ricky Graham, and now as they come off turn four to the white flag, we will be down to it. If there was game playing and head games going on the previous lap, they're all over now. you got to have your last lap strategy in mind. Ricky Graham has won a lot of last lap charges here. He's a tough guy at Springfield. I wouldn't count him out. He's got a great record here. The key is momentum off the final turn. Durrell right now is opening up the win for Graham. Graham, too, wants to lead it off the last lap. It didn't work for Scotty Parker. Let's see if it'll work for Rocket Ricky. Durrell, who Durrell slipped a little bit. There's the gap that may be too much to overcome. Down to the checkered flag they come. Steve Ferracci waves it. Not even an attempt at a pass. Ricky Graham, the reigning Mr. Springfield, has won heat race number two. Durrell and Ingram get the two transfer spots. Let's go trackside to Larry Myers with the winner. A few years back, he earned the title Mr. Springfield, and now we know why. An excellent way to start the day, Rick. Yeah, that's it.
track's really fast today and there's a lot of guys going really fast, but uh, I tell you what, I started racing motorcycles because it's a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun out there today. You look happy, that, that uh, exudes confidence for you and uh, that sets up the main event. Well, you know, I'm riding the uh, Skip Aiken, Mike Sponseller Honda and I tell you, the thing this me so good, it's like I've been riding for him for years. I'm real happy. Ricky Graham is looking for number seven and he could very well get it here today at Springville. And they call him Rocket Ricky. He is also the resurgent Ricky Graham. 